In this video, we're going to talk about recycling your content. I'm going to talk about specifically recycling in YouTube, since that is the social media platform that I use and that I love. So we're going to talk about that. You can recycle your content. I know on Facebook, but again, we're just going to talk about YouTube. Now, first of all, if you're just getting started and you're just starting your YouTube channel, what I, you probably don't have anything to recycle. So what you need to be doing is just creating videos one after another. And I'm going to tell you what motivated me, um, that really got me to stay consistent. Um, as you can see, I make a video almost every single day and, and it is a lot of work at first. It's very, very time consuming because you don't know what you're doing and you're almost like sitting here every day making a video and then pretty soon it starts to get easier and then you can start batch them you can start making like three or four at a time i tend to i know i hear people say they make like 29 videos in a day i'm not i can't do that i can't last that long um i will make three or four in a day and i'll take a day to plan them out and then the next day maybe to um, make the videos and then i will sometimes upload them right away or just do it throughout the week but the point is make lots of videos now some people out there and i just watched a video the other day from a rock star and they said don't make a lot of videos just make quality you can do that if you have 500,000 subscribers and 10 million views sure you can afford to make one video a week because you've already established yourself you already have credibility you already have viewers and people are waiting for your video if you're brand new you need to get your face out there and I learned this and I'm going to give all this credit to Nathan Lucas. I think he just turned 30 recently. So he's young um, and is a millionaire. And he basically had a video a year ago or almost a year ago that I was watching. And he said he was playing around with YouTube. He said, I was just making at first like a couple videos here and there. Um, then the next year he decided, well, I'll make about three a week. And he said, I still wasn't getting any traction and anybody to notice me. And he said, then I made a decision that I was going to make a video every single day to get Google's, to get YouTube to notice me and, and, and get out there. And he said it was around the 400th video in a row that things started to happen. And I thought if he can do it, I can do it. So I just started, it was December 26, 2018. I decided I'm going to make 400 videos in a row and I'm not there yet. I'm about a hundred away, but it, it, it gets easier as you go and it becomes more fun. And then what's happening now, I'm around 300 and some videos and I'm noticing, you know, you start learning how to make your thumbnails better. Maybe you learned how to do descriptions better in the, in the beginning, you just, you do what you know what to do. Does that make sense? You don't know what you don't know. And even now I might come back and look at this a year from now and go, my gosh, there's so much more I didn't know, but be where you're at and, and make those videos do the best that you can and just keep moving and keep building that content. And if you don't know what to do, make how to videos. That's kind of what I did in the beginning. I was learning how to make sales funnels and learning how to do email sequencing. And what I kept doing as I was building my business and I was in, I'm affiliate marketing. Um, I just kept making videos like this is how you find affiliate marketing products. This is a good one. Um, here's how you make email sequences. Here's the autoresponder that I'm using. Here's how you do this within that autoresponder, or here's the sales funnel um, tool software that I'm using. And that, if you notice, if you go back, that's what all of my videos were. And it, then it became really easy because as I learned, then I made a video to teach somebody else how to do it. So just start doing it and don't spend time trying to be perfect because it'll all come together. It's kind of neat because I've watched Nathan I've even watched him grow and um, become more professional, as, if I can say that. Um, he's still who he is. He's very humble, um, just a straight shooter, tells you like it is. But I've noticed his quality of his work get better and his training. And that's because he's growing. And that's what's neat about YouTube or, you know, watching somebody is that you can watch them grow and even become better at what they're doing. So now that you have videos, you can start to recycle them. And what do I mean by that? One of the things that I've done is I started really understanding playlists and I started to go back in the beginning. I would just put everything under affiliate marketing or network marketing, or, you know, I just kind of made all these titles and I wasn't really, um, 
just I, I didn't really put a lot of thought into where they went or who was seeing them or what the importance was. So as I recycle, I'm making playlists and I'm really paying attention to what videos are in there. And that has helped me to recycle my videos. And it kind of helps me go back and fix the thumbnail, go back and fix the description, put better keywords and things like that. And I'm noticing as I do it, some of those older videos are being searched again because I fixed the keywords and things like that. So that's what's kind of cool too about YouTube is your content stays there. If I had all this content on Facebook, yes, I can go back in and I can recycle and I can repost, but my ability to change it a lot is not there as much. I might as well do a new post, right? Um, so here, the video is still there. The link is there. It's still being searched with the title and all of that, but now I can help with the search engine optimization. I can make it better. So let me show you what I've done. I go back to find old video. I just want to give you an idea. Here's some of the um, thumbnails that I made way back in um, May, actually from December to May. So it took me a while. I was just playing around different thumbnails and things like that. And then I finally realized, you know, I have to be a little bit more consistent with colors and things. So I kind of went with black and red because it. I just like the way it pops. Red's my favorite color. And so even with that, I try not to use the exact same template, but maybe change it up a little bit here and there. Um, but I pretty much have tried to stick with the same colors. Um, what you can do is you go in, I'm going to find one that I haven't. All right, here's one here. Okay, this is one I haven't upgraded yet. It had 600 views, but it still needs a lot of work. But here I can go in and completely change my description, which I have one that I saved and I go in and I copy and paste. I've learned that I can put hashtags. If you want to put hashtags in, you just go down here underneath your description and put hashtag whatever. Um, you can put as many as you want. I usually put three and then I can slide down, look at my tags, which are horrible um, in this one. I mean, I, I know so much more now. Um, I didn't know about end screen, so I go back and I fix that and see how many things that you can do and then playlists and this one i don't even know if it's in a playlist yeah this one's not even in a playlist so i can go in and add it to a playlist i'm gonna not going to do it now but that's kind of how i systematically have gone in and recycled my content i go i make a playlist and then i go find um you can go up here to the top and search for keywords right up here within your own channel and it'll bring up all those videos. So that way I can find different videos that will, you know, go into that playlist. And then I make sure all those things are in place and I have a playlist. I didn't even have to go make videos. If I only end up with maybe 10 videos in the playlist, then I say, okay, there's the content that I want to work on. So it's been kind of fun to be at this stage. Cause I remember when I started and people were talking about in the videos, other videos that I've watched and said, you know, you can go back and recycle. I'm thinking, well, crap, I don't even have anything. And once you, I, I want to share this. Once you get content and you're out there, you really feel established. If that makes sense, you start to feel like, okay, I have something to offer and your brain really just starts going crazy. Like I can do this, I can do that. And just keep a notebook and start writing down your ideas. And then you can keep sharing and then keep building and keep getting better. It all comes together. Something else that's exciting too, um, especially with the affiliate marketing, I have found that in the beginning, I was like, these are the things in affiliate marketing that I want to promote. And maybe I didn't get as many sales. And then I think, well, okay, let me try these things. And it's really interesting how the things that you didn't think would bring you in the most money or the things that are. So my audience is telling me, obviously, that these are the things I want, not these other things that you thought we wanted. So that's where you do a shift to. You've got to pay attention to where the sales are being made because obviously that's what your audience wants. And then you can spend more time really digging in to those other affiliate programs and pushing those. So it all comes together. You start getting that money coming in, the no notifications, and it's exciting. Um, and it takes time. I, I know you see people say, oh, you can make $100 a day or $10,000 a month. You can, but you're not going to make it 
right away. You, you have to build that credibility. You have to have content and people have to find you. And it takes time. Like I said, um, I'm like seven weeks away from being on YouTube for a whole year as of the time of this video. And it's really exciting. Like I said, um, I can't wait till that year mark comes. I'm really close to being monetized. So that's going to be a whole new chapter in this journey. Um, and I will share that when I get there and I will tell you the process that I have to go through. I, I know, I think I know what I have to do and I've made videos on it, but once I do it, I'll share that with you. But if you've made videos, recycle them, start making them better, go back and keep on updating. And you have to decide which ones you're going to update and which ones you're not. I know some people might say, well, just keep going forward and making quality. Well, make what you have quality. And again, it's going to be the quality that you know how to make today. And a year from now or two years from now, you might go back and go, why did I even make that video? And you can delete them. You can archive them, you know, and then you can update them. That's what's so cool about YouTube. So get in there, get to work and start um, fixing some of those things. And below, I just showed you um, my playlist. I've got a couple of my playlists down there if you want to find out um, how I've got one um, YouTube for beginners and then about YouTube mechanics. So if you're new at this, the mechanics one is really good to keep somewhere in case you have some questions. I'm always happy to make more videos. Let me know if there's a question that you have. I'd be happy to answer it with a video. All right, have a good day and I'll see you on the next one.